Welcome back guys, this is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, let's take a look at checking your WinLink email with an APRS radio. Stick around and we'll get right to it. A big shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys today is how to get the WinLink system to alert you over APRS if you have a new WinLink message. So I'm using the Yezu FTM 400 today for this video, and I'm going to go in to the menu, and we're going to click on the APRS, and then we're going to look at number 14, the beacon status text. So I'll go ahead and click into that, and you'll notice text 1 right there says WinLink. So if you put the word WinLink in your comments section of your APRS beacon, anytime you have a new WinLink message, the WinLink system will alert you. Now, once you've received one of these alerts, let's go ahead and show you how to check for a new message with the WinLink system. So with that new alert that we just received, I'm going to just go ahead and hit reply, and I'm going to go ahead and transmit out that message. Now, give the system just a second, and it should come back to me with a password challenge. So you can see here that my login challenge is 293. So let's take a second and go over how this login challenge works. So you remember my challenge was 293. So let's assume for a minute that this is my complete password here. The way this works is you need to look for the second uh, character of your password, the ninth character, and the third character. So in this particular case, Let's see if I can get this over so we can see it. The second character here would be M. The ninth character would be 3. And the third character would be 4. So third character being right here. Then, in addition to those three characters, you can put any other three characters that you want. So we could put, uh, you know, A, I, R. Any three random characters, uh, you could put another number there instead. But that's the way the uh, WinLink system checks for your password without having to send your password in the clear as an APRS message. So that can be a little confusing when you first start working with this. Let's go ahead and get back to checking that message. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put in the challenge to my password into the system and I'm just going to go ahead and transmit out that message. We'll give the system just a second to uh, recognize that we've been logged in and you'll get a response like this that says hello and it gives you your call sign and the SSID of the current APRS system that you're working from and then it tells me that my login is valid for two hours. Now, let's go ahead and respond to this. Let's uh, edit the text. And I believe I can just put help. I can't ever remember right here if I have to put help or if I need to put in uh, a question mark right here instead. It might just be the word H. But let's put in the word help for now and go ahead and transmit that out. We get a response back. Now, Looking at this, I obviously sent the wrong command. So this time we're going to send the question mark instead. So let's uh, go back and let's see, get back into the messages. I'm going to come into this message and hit reply. And this time we're gonna edit that text and just give it a question mark. So we'll go ahead and give it the question mark and then we'll hit the space to clear out anything else. And we'll go ahead and transmit that message. Now, with this attempt, it will go ahead and give us a list of commands that we can use. So you can see the list of commands there. So let's go ahead and get a list of any messages that we have on the system. So for this message, to get our list, I'm just going to give it the letter L in my outgoing message. I'll go ahead and hit the transmit button. 
and we'll give it a couple of seconds and it should come right back with a list. First, we get an acknowledgement, and then there's our list of messages. And you can see that uh, it's preceded with the one and then the closing uh, bracket there, and then it gives us the subject line of the message and tells us how large it is. So let's assume that we want to go ahead and read that message. I'll hit the reply right here. I'm going to edit that text, and I'm going to give it R and the number one. And then I'll just clear out the rest of this data. Once you've got everything cleared out and just that R1 in your message, go ahead and transmit that out. And in just a second, it co should come back with that message. And there we go. It comes back with the message. So you can see that it tells whose email address it's from, and then it goes ahead and sends us the message. Now, uh, because APRS is limited in the number of characters that can come back in each message, it will continue to send you sequential messages until you receive the entire email. Now, if you wanted to send an email from an APRS radio through the WinLink system, you're going to address that message to WLNK-1. And then the message that we're going to send is going to start with Sierra Papa or SP. We'll give it a space. We'll give it the email address that it's going to. We'll give it another space. And then we'll give it the subject line for the message. So let's go ahead and transmit that message out. There's the acknowledgement and you'll get a reply similar to this that says we've got a new message that started to km4ack at awrl.net and then it says send forward slash ex when complete. Okay, so how does this work? Well, let's go ahead and hit reply to this and we'll go ahead and edit this and let me type out a quick message. Okay, and as you can see, this is a fairly quick message, uh, including the misspelling of the word the there. But I typed in a quick body of my message. Now, if you had a longer message, you could send multiple APRS messages. And this system will combine all of the individual APRS messages into a single email message. And then when you're done, you can simply send forward slash EX to let the system know you're done composing that email and it will go ahead and send it out. In this case, uh, it was just a short message, so I went ahead and included the forward slash EX to the message. So let's go ahead and transmit that out. You'll get the acknowledgement, and then you'll get a message that says that your message has been sent to and the email address that you sent it to. So there you have it, guys. There's a way that you can first be alerted for your message, B, read your message, and C, be able to send a new message out, all using your APRS radio. All right, guys, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next video. Until then, 7-3.